breast cancer affects one in eight women in America. And 85% of women who are diagnosed with breast cancer don't have a family history. So can you imagine being pregnant while battling breast cancer? It is something no mother ever wants to experience, but that's exactly what one Northeast Ohio woman went through. Yeah, the journey was taxing and challenging, but she came out on the other side. Our Mike Holden joins us now live with her powerful battle and message to all mothers out there. Good morning, Mike. Guys, good morning to you. She says if something seems off, you got to get to the doctor. This West Park mom was totally shocked by her diagnosis. She was 100% healthy, happy, and nursing her first baby boy. She became pregnant with her second child and was diagnosed with breast cancer that same week. Stephanie Rafisi Thorkelson juggles full-time mom duties to her beautiful boys Luca and Leo, all while traveling the world as a United Airlines flight attendant. But her busy life came to a screeching halt in a matter of one week after finding out at age 32 she had breast cancer. Your world just comes crashing down. Like, why? While nursing her then 13-month-old baby boy Luca, she felt a lump. Initially, she thought it was a cyst or perhaps a clogged milk duct, but it never went away. I went in, got the mammogram. They did not like what they saw, so then they sent me over for an ultrasound. More intense testing followed. Subsequently, she discovered she was pregnant with her second baby boy and was diagnosed with triple negative breast cancer just two days later. We were so happy and excited because we had been trying, but then getting that news, uh, you have cancer, all, all the thoughts go through your head. I, how is this going to be safe? Safety was the priority as Stephanie worked with a team of doctors at the Cleveland Clinic who treated the aggressive cancer. They held off on chemo for the first trimester and then started treatment in the second trimester with a lumpectomy followed by chemotherapy every three weeks. A lot of studies have shown that receiving chemotherapy during pregnancy is safe for both the mom and the baby. Um, so when she was complete with chemotherapy. She was able to deliver her son. It was truly a miracle. I didn't get sick at all. I did not throw up, not even once. With the true support system around her, she fought cancer while pregnant, losing her hair, but gaining strength with the love around her. I think it made it a little bit easier having everybody Absolutely. there for support. Yeah. Stephanie successfully gave birth to little Leo, who turns two in April and is thriving. A true gift who was there with her through and through. He is like my little miracle angel and he is we just have a special bond the fight was hard but it paid off and she became cancer free cherishing each moment and showing you can win the battle with love and passion looking back like it was the hardest years of all of our lives my son my husband um you know and looking back it truly like i feel so blessed and we're so happy she's okay. Now Stephanie is back to being a flight attendant and being the best mom she can possibly be. Her message again is so simple and strong, but it is to follow your gut instinct. You have to trust your body. If something isn't right, you got to go to the doctor. And in this case, Danita really saved her life. Truly a miracle story. Leo, so adorable. Love the family support because that's also key. Uh, they always say that when people are battling cancer. But was there any family history in this one? The support system critical, but no, to answer your question, no. They did this genetic testing, and it turns out she's one of the 5% of women under the age of 40 who got breast cancer with absolutely no explanation at all. Wow. Well, we're so glad she's doing well. The family is beautiful. And that little Leo, strong, very strong. So Thank you, Mike.